My name is Steve McNulty. I'm the president of CBDA. Um, welcome to the annual State of the Town Center and Beyond Luncheon. The event's grown over the years. We're really pre pleased to present what's happened, what's in the works, and what's next in the uptown area of our city. I'd like to welcome some special guests, and I'd ask that uh, we hold our applause, but I know that you won't. Uh, as I go through a short list of, uh, of folks, if I could. I see uh, uh, our Commissioner of Revenue just getting ready to be seated here, Phil uh, Kellum. Um, our, on taxi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he never stops. He's relentless. Um, our Mayor, Bobby Dyer, and he'll be uh, properly introduced here uh, shortly. Our Vice Mayor, Rosemary Wilson. Where is Rosemary? I didn't think I saw her. Um, Councilman Michael Berlucci, uh, Councilwoman, <laughs> okay, uh, Councilwoman Amelia Ross Hammond, uh, she happens to be our representative for Town Center. Thank you. Councilwoman Jennifer Rouse, I know you have a bit of a lineage with Virginia Tech. I yes. uh, hope they stay home tonight. Be careful. <laughs> Uh, we have a few Wahoos in here. Um, Councilman Josh Shulman. <laughs> Councilman Chris Taylor. <laughs> Councilman Worth Remick. <laughs> Rosemary, we just introduced you, Vice Mayor Rosemary Wilson. Thank you for being here. Our city manager, Patrick Duhaney, and he'll be introduced to properly shortly. Our planning director, uh, Kathy Warren. <laughs> have a couple of folks uh, that have been added here. I apologize. Uh, the acting economic development uh, director, Chuck Rigney. <laughs> Dr. Donald Robinson, the actor, uh, acting superintendent of schools. Um, we have Sheriff Rocky Holcomb, and congratulations, Sheriff. And uh, Mike Callan on the Virginia Beach School Board. If I've left anybody out, I want you to blame Jeannie Evans. Where is Jeannie? Because <laughs> it wasn't by design. Uh, I'd like to welcome our new CBDA board members, uh, Dr. Tish. Sermisky, Sermisky, VP of Regional Higher Education Centers, Old Dominion University. Jamie Rasmussen, Principal, HBA Architecture and Interior Design. Connor Pritchett, Commercial Banker with Truist Bank. Tony Cortinas, President, Founding Partner, Marathon Consulting. Evan Kalfas, Partner, KPMG. And Darian Fisher with Southern Bank. Let's give these folks a round of applause if we could. I'd also like to recognize, I don't want to leave anybody out, uh, uh, a few of the founding uh, fathers, so to speak, of CBDA, Fred Napolitano, uh, Gerald DeVaris, and Armada Hoffler. Let's give them a round of applause. Um, I'm going to introduce Tyler Rosa. He's the uh, CBDX uh, president. He's a senior associate with Williams Mullen, and he'll introduce uh, Miss Jeannie Evans, who you all know. A lot more laughter than I was expecting. <laughs> uh, thank you, Steve. Good afternoon, everyone. As Steve mentioned, I'm Tyler Rose, president of CBDX. For those of you unfamiliar with the CBDX, uh, it was founded in 2009 with the goal of bringing together the next generation of leaders of the CBDA and the city to collectively engage with the important issues facing our region. We continue to pursue that goal of civic engagement and leadership by working closely with the CBDA and the city's leaders to ensure that the next generation is part of today's important conversations that will help shape the CBDAs and the city's futures. The CBDA also raises funds throughout the year to award annual scholarships to three Princess Anne High School students uh, to supplement the cost of higher ed education. The scholarships are presented as part of the CBDA's annual internship day. 
Recipients are selected through a competitive application process focused on students who demonstrate a passion for our region, the city of Virginia Beach, and the opportunities for growth here. The scholarships are supported by the Central Business District Foundation and the CBDA. Uh, the current board has some great plans for 2024, um, so I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge the board. You don't have to stand or wave unless you want to, Tony. But Vice President uh, is Tony DeVaris with DeVaris Real Estate. Um, our treasurer is Darian Fisher with Southern Bank. Uh, Secretary is Jimmy McCune with the Ripley Heatwall Company. Philanthropy Director is Megan Parker with Town Bank. Our Marketing Director is Scott Kristiniak with Walcott Rivers Gates. Our Membership Director is Colby Raymond with Town Mortgage. And our At-Large Director is Ryan Arcees with our Armada Hoffler. So thank you to the CBDA companies who uh, uh, allow your uh, members to participate on the board. Uh, the CBDX is currently welcoming new members for 2024. Uh, CBDX members must be under the age of 40 years old and employed by a CBDA company. If you're interested in learning more about the CBDX, please feel free to find me afterwards. I'll be in the lobby, try to make myself easy to find. Um, and um, so with that, I will turn things over to the CBDA's Executive Director, Jeannie Evan Cox. Thank you very much for your time this afternoon. Hello, everyone. Uh, here we meet again. It's wonderful to have everyone. We are so, so fortunate to, be ha to have our mayor and our city manager here today and to have all of these wonderful elected officials. Thank you, Virginia Beach City Council, for all you do to support Town Center. Um, I'd like to give a special thanks to our sponsors today, um, Dollar Bank, Dave Paradise. Dave, where are you? There he is, with the, with the dollar bank table over there. Thank you, Dave. Um, Dominion Energy, Paula Miller. I think Paula was unable to be here today, but good old Max Bartholomew is here. Max, where are you? There he is. Okay. Pembroke Square Parts, uh, excuse me, Associates, Fred Napolitano, one of our founding members that was mentioned earlier. Mr. Napolitano, thank you, sir. Walcott Rivers Gates, <clears throat> um, David Bastian, is David here today? No? Anyone from Walcott Rivers? All right, well, thank you very much. Olderman University, and I call her Dr. Tish, because Samursky is a little bit long, and I know she was unable to be here today, but we're very excited to have ODU as a new partner, um, and we, we have lots of wonderful things planned for the rest of the year. And Kimley Horn, Dave France, Dave? Dave, I think, had to step out. But thank you very much to all of our CBDA sponsors. We also have a new category of sponsors this year. Um, these sponsors, they're called supporting sponsors. They're noted on the um, identification cards, the, uh, your table placement cards, and noted on the bottom of the table cards. So thank you all for your sponsorships. I'd like to also mention we have a couple of new members, CBDA members this year, um, and uh, just recently, as a matter of fact, and I think maybe someone might be here from MITSA, better known as Cantina Laredo, and Einstein Bagels. Is anyone here from MITSA? No. Oh, and Legal Seafood, Steve Bartis, Barstas, who is the general manager. Steve, are you here? Where is he? Is he here? No? Okay. Well, please do um, cater to both any, all of those three of those establishments at Town Center. We have 21 restaurants and wonderful things happening at Pembroke Mall across the street. Exciting things to come. So um, please remember the Town Center area of Virginia Beach. Enjoy your lunch. Just a little bit less chatter. If I, <laughs> if I could get everybody's attention, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Um, our first speaker, of course, is uh, our mayor, uh, Robert uh, Bobby Dyer. Uh, a brief uh, snippet bio, he was sworn in November 20, 2018. And he's the first veteran to be directly elected as mayor of Virginia Beach history. We appreciate your service, Mr. Mayor. Prior to that, he represented the Centerville District on City Council for 14 years. He's a physical therapist. He's held positions in the past to include health care executive, business consultant, assistant professor for the School of Government at Regent University. He served in the U.S. Marine Corps from 1968 to 1972, which 
For those of you that have a bit of gray hair like me, that was a very, very tenuous, volatile time in our country's history. Um, in 76, he earned a bachelor's degree in physical therapy from St. Louis University. And in 1982, a master's in public administration from Farley Dickinson University, for those of you that don't know, is in New Jersey, which is where our mayor hails from in Newark. Um, he currently serves as the city council liaison to the bikeways and trails advisory committee, the Hampton Roads Military and Federal Facilities Alliance, the Hampton Roads Transportation Accountability Commission, the Hampton Roads Transportation Planning Organization, the Human Rights Commission, the Open Space Advisory Committee, and the Process Improvement Steering Committee, which he initiated. Bobby and his wife, Trish, live in the late Christopher section of Centerville District and have two children and four grandchildren. Let's give our mayor a rousing hand of applause. Okay. And uh, Patrick, we're going to tag team. We can do it by side. Yeah. We'll do it right now. We're going to do side by side. One more introduction, and I apologize. We'll do these at the same time. It's our, our city manager, Patrick Duhaney. Come on up, if you would, sir. Uh, he was, Patrick was hired as a Beaches city manager in July of 2020, and since then he's spearheaded a new wave of data-driven leadership with the introduction of enterprise-wise performance-based programs. During his tenure, our city has also collected a number of major accolades, among them being listed among the best places to live in Virginia, as well as America. The, si yeah. the safest cities in America, and crowned the number one parks and recreation program in the country. That deserves a round of applause. Prior to coming to Virginia Beach, uh, Patrick served as city manager of Cincinnati, Ohio, where he'd been employed since 2009. Before his work in local government, he served in the U.S. Army on active duty, and we appreciate your service, sir, and reserve capacity from 1999 to 2015 under combat engineer and ordnance commands. He also worked for a community development financial institution in Cincinnati, where he served as a program officer responsible for issuing community development loans, oversaw the local LISC office's loan portfolio, and worked to bring resources to aid in the redevelopment of different Cincinnati neighborhoods. He holds a Bachelor in Arts and Sociology and Urban Studies from Cleveland State University and a Master's in Community Planning at the University of Cincinnati. He's a graduate of the Urban League's African American Leadership Development Program. Let's give our city manager a rousing applause. Good afternoon and welcome anybody, everybody. What a great crowd we have. And yes, it's Bobby D and Patrick are indeed a tag team. We work together along with our city council and our management team and our great city staff to make us the great city that we are. And we thank you all for being here today. The success of Town Center and the Pembroke area and especially the CBDA, go back to the late 50s and early 60s, when a local business leader was looking over the land here at Pembroke Farm and watching the crowd cows graze. He began to think to himself, there's hundreds of acres just sitting there. Seems to me that buying the land and developing this into a successful enterprise would be a much better use of that land. That's when Fred Napolitano decided that creating and developing a highly successful business area in the city would be a much better use of the land. And that's when the sleepy little resort town began to take the first steps to becoming the largest and most thriving cities in the Commonwealth. In 1952, one of the slogans used to describe our city was Virginia Beach, Playtown, USA. Thanks to the leaders with vision and a lot of hard work and planning, we've become a diverse and rapidly growing city that Business Facilities Magazine recently ranked among the top mid-sized cities with the best economic growth potential. 
What changed between 1952 and today? I think it has to do with the fact that businesses and business leaders, people like Fred Napolitano, begin to emerge and take greater role in shaping our city's future that begin to prepare to meet the opportunity. In 1947, Virginia Beach Boulevard was the second most heavily traveled road in Virginia. The majority of it, however, was farmland. But a few short years later, that farmland began to be converted into businesses. We went from Playtown, USA, to a diverse and rapidly growing city through the 60s and the 70s. In the late 70s and into the 80s and beyond, our schools became known nationwide for quality education that they provided, which in turn enticed more people to come and live in our great city. Fortunately for us, our city's history, many devoted business leaders who worked hard to strengthen the local economy and build a strong foundation for the city's business community that grew with the rest of the city. People who saw the potential and understood the needs. People whose vision helped a local economy change, grow, and eventually thrive. Leaders who helped shape the area as a community, and by doing so, shaped our city's destiny. We mentioned all, all of this today to highlight something that we all know and believe in. Those of you here today, and many others before you, have done so much to make Virginia Beach the thriving and successful city that it is today. The city is fortunate to have such a motivated coalition of local business leaders who had the foresight to imagine the Central Business District Association with the aim to support growth and development of the businesses in the community in the Pendrick Strategic Growth Area. Since the city and developers first broke ground here in town center more than 20 years ago, there's been a tremendous amount of growth taking place throughout this vital part of our city. Town center has more than lived up to the original vision that the CBDA had for the dis district area of Virginia Beach, which is now known for diverse mix of business, entertainment, residential, and retail. We've had a great year in 2023, thanks to all of you and others in the business community. And while we could talk a while about all of the many good things that have happened, we're gonna focus on a few of the highlights. Patrick? In June, we were proud to announce that ZIM, American Integrated Shipping Services, and an Israeli-based firm was relocating their headquarters here to Virginia Beach. Zim, a global container shipping company, was founded in 1945, and they currently operate in more than 90 countries. They have customers at 300 ports worldwide. Their move to town center is estimated at a $30 million investment, and Zim, which is Hebrew for fleets of ships, is a hugely successful global entity that brings a record of success and a golden reputation to the table. In fact, in the world of international cargo shipping, they are one of the best known and ranked as one of the top 20 global carriers. Over the last couple of years, they have reported the largest profits in their 75-year history. A $1.5 million grant from the city's Economic Development Investment Program, which provides incentives, incentives to grow companies in the area, along with a matching grant from the state, were instrumental in making this deal come together. The economic impact, the investment, and the jobs that Zim will bring to our city and our region is immense and they are a company that we are proud to have in our city and in our town center. We welcome them and we are pleased to see what they'll do in our city. I have always believed that Virginia Beach is one of the premier cities where businesses begin, grow, and succeed. We are especially proud that we have the success of a company like Doma Technologies that has been had that had its very beginning here in Virginia Beach. 
Doma Technologies was founded in Virginia Beach in 2000 as one of the first cloud-based document management companies that realized a need for a holistic approach to document management and emerging, emerging cloud technology. They were one of the very first technology companies to see a specific need in the rapidly growing technology market. When working with a client or company, Doma's goal is to help the organization's digital transformation by looking at all possible solutions and how to gather, analyze, and display, informa display information. Thanks to the support of the Virginia Economic Development Partnership and with Virginia Beach Economic Development Team, Pat Feliciano and Doma Technologies have been continuing to expand the, their reach and succeed while providing vital jobs and incentives to our local economy. The expansion is just part of the Doma story. Pat and his team's vision and tenacity in developing information management programs that has focused on the future is a major reason for their success. In fact, with the Virginia Jobs Investment Program working with Doma Technologies, their training and handling programs will provide over 300 new jobs in Virginia Beach. Their focus is just not technology and doing business, however. DOMA committed to giving back through their DOMA Gives program that reaches out to local community in var various ways. We've come to realize that DOMA Technologies is a perfect fit for our city and business community. Real and rapid growth is occurring in the data science, artificial intelligence, and cybersecurity. And we are fortunate that it is occurring right here in Virginia Beach. Patrick? <laughs> Chorus Intelligence, a British software company, became a tenant to Town Center this year, and they are a welcome, and they are a welcome one. They sell products and services to law enforcement agencies for investigations all around the world. The company initially came to Virginia Beach and was located in our international business incubator, where international companies have a soft landing site right here in Town Center. They are one of the fastest growing technology companies in the United Kingdom mainly because of the quality service they provide and their extensive knowledge of technology and data analysis. They have been involved with implementing the latest technology with a multitude of agencies and various government departments at the state, local, and federal level. The work they do at Chorus Intelligence helps law enforcement agencies all around the world. They provide information and technology that helps law enforcement do their job, and even more importantly, to do that job safely. Since Chorus Intelligence established their headquarters in Virginia Beach in 2021, they have reached and expanded all across North America. In fact, they have an extremely successful track record that delivers specialized data management and analysis to over 80% of the United Kingdom's police force and counterterrorism units. They may be too humble to brag about it, but their rapid success is amazing. There, we are always happy when a business comes to Virginia Beach and they decide to stay and grow with us. Having a top flight entity like Chorus Intelligence become a major partner in our city is huge and it's a big plus for us. We look forward to watching them continue to grow and build a worldwide reputation here in Virginia Beach and in our town center. Drone Up is a, is a success story in a small business with a vision, ambition, and determination. They began as a privately held company headquartered on Newtown Road in Virginia Beach that was founded in 2016 by Tom Walker. Part of the services that Tom and his people offer is to work with more than 20,000 drone pilots, not just across Virginia, but around the globe. Part of the services Tom and his people offer is to work with more than 20,000 drone pilots around the globe. I think I repeated myself, but sorry about that. Uh, because of the astonishing success that they've had connecting with the communities to drone technology, DroneUp is recognized throughout the industry as a company that is innovative and transformational, and their accomplishments continue to reach new heights. 
They have recently begun to deliveries for Walmart in some locations and predicted service will be grow very rapidly. Uh, as a side note, the Walmart, neighborhood Walmart, my neighborhood, is about ready to launch a limited uh, you know, experiment in this regard. Another uh, part of the plan is the base of operations in Virginia Beach, investing $7 million and, uh, dollars and adding 510 new jobs to our local economy. DroneUp recently announced a multi-year commercial services contract with Walmart to provide drone delivery in 153 stores. And this, uh, this lane 2024, Walmart, has a uh, minority stake in DroneUp and is at the seat of the board. DroneUp is an exclusive provider of drone services in their company. The company's goal is ultimately for DroneUp to serve all 4,000 Walmart retail stores in the United States. Because of their record of success, Virginia Beach Development Authority approved them to receive an economic development incentive package of $800,000 in grant funding based on the marketing established milestones and growth. The incentive package is part of the larger effort between the VBDA, the Virginia Beach Deve Economic Development Partnership, Richard Bland College, and Dinwiddie County to train additional drone pilots to secure additional jobs in Virginia Beach and around the Commonwealth. We are proud to point to the success of DroneUp as a wonderful example of the opportunities and entrepreneurships that we can find in our city. This is a high-tech business that started small as a small company and now expanded around the United States and into Europe, partnering with public and private organizations. Tom and his team developed a solid plan that has worked 24-7 to build their com company into a great entity. To say that we are thrilled with their success is an understatement. That they have chosen to make Virginia Beach their home and remain here is even more gratifying. Mm -hmm. In one of the most exciting retail announcements in Hampton Roads, Lego made news by choosing Town Center last year for their latest store. This is only their third location in Virginia and their only store in the Hampton Roads area. Since they opened the store in cent on Central Park Avenue in November, they have been doing amazing in terms of business. We believe this is going to be a great success story for Town Center. Perhaps this is where the next generation of developers and members of the CBDA will get their start. Okay, in just two weeks, just two weeks ago, KPMG announced their plans to move to the Harmada Hoffler Tower here in Town Center, where they will occupy just over 13,000 square feet of office space. With KPMG's announcement, Armada Hoffler's tower is 98% leased and this is an amazing feat considering the post-COVID office world. Welcome KPMG. Our city council has said repeatedly over the years how one of our highest priorities was to increase educational and research opportunities, especially those that help prepare us for the rapid change in technology. A data science, as data science job opportunities grow in our city, we recognize and understand the need and great importance of having an educated workforce that is prepared for these jobs. Because of that, we have consistently made a focused effort over the years to work with partners who bring significant projects and ideas to the table. Working with Old Dominion University, we are bringing a real jewel, a real jewel to the table the Institute of Data Science, and the Coastal Virginia Center of Cyber Innovation. This is just one of the many steps that we have taken to increase our presence in the field of research. This space provides a specific location where students and researchers can access state-of-the-art labs and the best possible data science education you will find anywhere. With the rapidly changing ways that we do business in the 21st century, it is vital that we embrace the data-informed innovations that enhance economic development and foster commercialization. Those who fail to do so will quickly fall behind. Even more importantly, the addition of the center connects our city to the broader Commonwealth Cyber Initiative. This broader initiative has locations in Richmond, Arlington, Blacksburg, and now in Virginia Beach. As a coastal Virginia location for the initiative, there are additional opportunities for Virginia Beach. 
This, is, uh, this also gives us one more key tool in our economic development toolbox that helps us attract new businesses to our region. With this next step today, ODU continues to burnish its reputation as one of the top research institutions in the Commonwealth and also the East Coast. New companies such as DroneUp, Chorus Intelligence, Doma Technology, Zim, and the ODU Data Center are among many, uh, and among many others, are increasing the digital footprint for our community and our Commonwealth. Many projects illustrate symbiotic relationships between cities, educational institutions, businesses, and a broad cross-section of all residents. With the, assent with the assistance of generous resources that the governor and the Commonwealth provide, and the hard work of our city's economic development leaders, Virginia Beach is able to continue on a rapid trajectory of becoming a leading player in the world of di digital technology. Coming back to Town Center, something that has been very instrumental in the city's ability to nurture businesses has been the array of services and resources afforded through the Hive. A little over two years ago, with major support from the mayor and city council, the Hive at the Virginia Beach Business Resource Center opened. The Hive has quickly established itself as the go-to location where entrepreneurs can connect with resources and find the proper support they need to grow their business. To continue attracting new businesses to Virginia Beach, we as a city must remain able to adapt, evolve, and reimagine our city to fit the current needs and those of the future generations. This last year, the city announced a new program that offers access to workspace and various business resources at no cost to existing Virginia Beach startups and military spouse entrepreneurs. Known as Thrive at the Hive, it is a, a city-funded initiative that aims to bolster a local entrepreneurial environment. Their specific goal is to stimulate economic growth for entrepreneurs by offering resources to individuals who qualify for the program. It's a two-month program during which members get free access for two business days per week to facilities at the Hive. The Hive and its professionals will also provide free assistance seminars and workshops and other business resources. You probably heard the good news or seen in the paper and all over the place about our new Virginia Beach Trail. Virginia Beach City Council has appropriated $3 million in matching funds to the Virginia Beach Parks and Recreation for the first phase of the trail. The approved uh, unlocked $15 million of fifth, uh, government assistance in improving Virginia Beach's beach trail the largest such award in the Commonwealth of Virginia. The $19.5 million funding package for phase one of the trail will provide a 3.2 mile long, 10 foot wide paved share use path connecting the city's western border with Norfolk at Newtown Road to Constitution Drive in Virginia Beach right here in town center. Safe crossings will be built against all intersections along the path. Phase one includes a pedestrian and bicycle bridge to be built over the existing 10-lane Independence Boulevard. Once the trail has been completed, 12 miles of shared use path will cross a full width of Virginia Beach, connecting communities, key destinations, and other pathways. The VB Trail will also be easternmost segment of a one mile long South Hampton Roads Trail. First, let me say one word, Amazon. And I ask you to raise your hand if you think of anything else besides the international business that has dominated the marketplace in the last decade. And while Amazon is not technically part of the CBDA, it was hatched, so to speak, here in town center in our economic development offices. From our initial discussions to a number of meetings, it was right here in our town center where we worked out the terms needed for city council to close the deal. I believe it goes without saying that anytime Amazon wants to do business with your city, that you're moving in the right direction. Without a doubt, Amazon is gonna be a strong and positive impact to our economy while leaving an indelible footprint across the United States and the Commonwealth as we move forward. 
and we are very glad they chose Virginia Beach as their next home. The Virginia Beach Convention Visitors Bureau conducted an economic impact study which recently found that the city welcomed more than 3.6 million visitors to our city in 2022. Expenditures by these visitors amounted to about $2.4 billion, which was an increase of 300 million compared to the previous year, and a striking half a million dollar increase above the spending levels of, 2020, of 2019. When you factor in both indirect and induced effects to those same numbers, the total amount was a grand total of $3.7 billion of economic impact in 2022. This, is, this economic ripple funded about 33,000 jobs, or roughly 19% of all jobs within our city, in addition to providing $324 million in state and local tax revenues. Out of that same $2.4 billion spent by visitors, food and beverage took the lead in spending with over $1 billion spent We'd like to thank our town center restaurants for being such an important part of taking care of our visitors and residents alike. The Center for Digital Government unveiled its 2023 Digital Cities Survey winners, and the city of Virginia Beach has maintained a top position among cities 250,000 between 500,000. The annual ranking evaluates how U.S. cities leverage technology to elevate citizen services. This year's winners were acknowledged for their transparency in cybersecurity, digital privacy, and digital equity. Virginia Beach was highlighted for introducing a chatbot on its recently revamped website, expanding open data initiatives, and enhancing public safety from local and regional angles, and also for establishing a new data center. An official with the center said when announcing the winners, we recognize and congratulate these trailblazers who are helping to build a government that works for everyone. The biggest project currently underway in the Central Business District is the Pembroke, Pembroke Square redevelopment project. It is a well thought out plan that meets the number of needs of our city. The city has a role in supporting the new mixed use destination for residents and visitors that will include retail, a senior living community, luxury apartments, and a new-to-market hotel. The hotel will be a seven-story Hilton Hotel, which they hope will be uh, start construction in the third and fourth quarter of 2024. With the commitment on a a Avia, a seven-story, 53 senior uh, living unit partnership with Beshalom Village, it is currently scheduled to open in September or October of this year. Let me say this in closing. I have great faith that not only what we offer as a city to the in interested businesses, but also what our economic development team is able to pull together and to offer highly rated businesses that will convince them that Virginia Beach is a wonderful place to work and locate a business. Our economic team are always looking diligently to bring highly successful and immensely respected businesses to our city. I'd like to say thank you to the CBDA for continuing to work with the city council and city leadership in the betterment of our business community. We appreciate your commitment and your contributions to our city and the many successes over the years. The CBDA has always supported the development and continued growth of businesses from new startups to well-known established companies. In fact, that was a, with the founding mission of the CBDA and it sits at its inception and continues today with an exceptional track record. Thank you all very much for what you have done and what we, you will continue to do to make Virginia Beach the great city that it is. Thank you all for being here. Thank you and God bless you. Don't worry. Ten minutes of Q and A. Yep. How about the trail? What do we think about the trail? I think it's pretty cool stuff. We're going to have ten minutes of uh, of Q and A if we could. So let's go ahead and just fire away questions, and Bobby and Patrick can decide uh, who will take it, unless you direct it to them. It's always good to have somebody to delegate to. So. <laughs> Any questions, please? Did we answer everything? Wow. Yeah. No questions. Can you talk a little bit more about that DB trail? 
Patrick. Good. All right, so the Virginia Beach Trail, as the mayor mentioned, so city council recently appropriated a $3 million match, which would unlock about $15 million in federal money to start phase one. So basically with that, we have the money needed to fund phase one. The city is still working on plans to finish out the rest of the phases and also to help solicit additional state federal dollars to move forward the rest of the phases. Um, we look forward to this one. This one will be from Newtown Road to right here in, um, right here in town center. And it also will build out the pedestrian bridge as well. We'll cross independence, I think, right? All right. Okay. And uh, if I can also mm -hmm. ask, from what I understand, I think it's gonna cross six uh, you know, districts in the city of Virginia Beach, and it's really gonna help uniting and unifying. You know, once again, you know, we always hear about the oceanfront and everything, but once again, you know, we're starting to do a lot of really good investment, you know, in all the districts throughout this great city. And, you know, this is going to help, you know, uh, th economics as we look forward to a challenging future. You know, we have to come up with new revenue streams. And by having this type of amenity is going to help attract businesses here and families because we are one of the most livable cities in the country and, uh, and healthiest. And this is only going to help aug augment that. Yes. If all goes well, what's the final destination of Rudy Loop, yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Mm -hmm. Rudy Loop, yep. yeah. It's going to run from Newtown Road all the way to the oceanfront, you know, upon completion. And I, I will say that a lot of the cities, like Indianapolis and other places, that have this type of facility, it stimulates development and uh, it gets families out doing healthy things. Yes. A prospective date for completion, I'm not sure yet because we still got to fully get it designed and it still has to go out to bid, you know, but I think phase one will probably finish before everything else, right? And we still have to get a sense of what kind of funding we can achieve for phases two, three, and I think phase three might be split into two as well, you know, but we're working on getting those details as well. You know, and I think ultimately that once it's completed, I think, you know, uh, Pembroke is going to be included in phase one. It's really going to help out y your situation right here locally in a lot of ways. Just a quick comment. I could tell the group that uh, the city of Houston has a trail conceptually and it is a happening. I realize we're talking about a major NFL city and a huge market, but they started somewhere and they progressively built it. And it's just an area that uh, attracts so many people to recreate, families, have fun, shop, development. So I'm really excited about the trail. Yep. Okay. Yes, Pat, Michael. Thank you, Mayor. Well, speaking of connecting families to recreation and activities, I wonder if there's ever a possibility that the trail and town center can connect with Mount Trashmore. <laughs> oh, sir, you can do whatever you want to do if you get enough votes. <laughs> you know, we just have a little detour on one little curve to Mount Trashmore, yeah. Okay, anyone else? Okay, Amelia. Um, Jeannie, do you want to talk about the impact of Lego? I'm sorry. Do you want to talk about the impact of Lego? Uh, the impact of Lego, I think Mr. DeVaris might be able to address it better than I, but I can tell you the line doesn't stop mm -hmm. out the front door. Mr. DeVaris, <laughs> the line doesn't stop out the front door. <laughs> no, Gerald, you got another winner right here at Town Center. Let's put it that way. You know, I think what's really good about, uh, you know, Virginia Beach, which makes us one of the most livable cities, one of the safest cities, uh, considered one of the best managed and, you know, great schools and just a great quality of life, is the diversity of things that people have where they can go to. Sure, we can go to an ocean, but then we can come to a town center with magnificent restaurants and 
places like Legos. And, you know, guess what? There's more planned uh, here in town center that's going to really escalate things. And as we look at our economy and looking to bring new businesses and keep families here, and then I just want to say an important part of what we're trying to do is that, you know, as we look at the future, I think we're on the, you know, on the threshold of some of the greatest potential that the city ever had. When you think about the broadband coming, the subsidy cables coming, with the businesses that it can attract, you know, I am telling people, friends don't let their friends' kids move to Northern Virginia anymore. We're gonna find you something right here. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, and uh, as we look forward to a bright future, you know, think about this at, you know, Pembroke, this town center as a destination point, not only for the people of Virginia Beach, but the people that come here. And uh, I'll tell you what, you folks are, have done a great job. And I'll tell you what, your future is bright. Anyone else? Okay. Okay, I think uh, we should give our mayor as well as our city manager a round and round of applause. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate you very, very much. Well done. Some exciting things. Um, just quickly, everybody always says that, but very, very quickly, um, I want to thank everybody for attending. We have a $100 donation to be made in each of uh, uh, their names, Bobby Dyer, our mayor, as well as uh, Patrick Duhaney, our city manager, to the CBDX Foundation towards Princess Anne High School scholarships. Um, I want to announce the Princess Anne High School Internship Day, which is April 11. Uh, at uh, the Western Hotel where we are now. And please get your reservations now online. We'd appreciate that. Uh, thanks to Catherine Geist and the wonderful Western staff. I think this was really well done. It was very timely. Thank you all so much for coming. And uh, before I finish, I want to thank Jeannie Evans for her great job. Let's give her a round of applause. Thank you all and see you in April. <laughs>